going, the red earth and pink sky make this unmistakably Mars. Come back soon for more puzzles. Welcome to the Mars Rover Constructomatic, where you can build a rover tough as a tiger and as agile as an antelope. Drag a set of wheels and a power pack to the rover on the workbench. Then click the go button to see how your rover does on Mars. To change the test track, click the buttons at the bottom of the rover test screen. You made some good moves, but now your power is kaput. You made Looks like a pretty rocky. may be a matter of a wee amount of wheels. You're moving right along, but batteries don't last forever. You're really... Without sunlight, this solar-powered rover isn't going anywhere. Radical roving! Your rover used its solar power source to rove around until the sun went down. Solar power can't get your rover going when the sun isn't showing. You can turn the music off or on. If you want to go outside, just click the door. Ah! My stars! All these impact craters were formed when meteorites or asteroids crashed into Mars. Like my Aunt Bertha always says, Mars is the best place to go rock hopping. Grab your winter woolly spacesuit because you're looking at the Martian North Pole. It's another cloudy day over the Apollinaris Patera volcano. Olympus Mons is one voluminous volcano. As far as we know, it's the biggest volcano in the solar system. We're looking down on Valles Marineris, one of the deepest valleys you'll ever see. Just imagine, the Valles Marineris is so deep that it could swallow five Grand Canyons. This is the South Polar Ice Cap. It brings a smile to my face whenever I look at the happy face on Mars. It's really a cute crater. It may look as though Mars is sending us a valentine, but this heart is actually a pit inside a trench on the Martian surface. My star! Here's your chance to make a postcard you can print and send home from Mars. Just click a background to get started. Thank you. 
the month of May, so it's no big surprise that another dust storm is blowing through the Valles Marineras here on Mars. I intend to keep my eye on this storm from a very safe distance. Mars has four seasons, just like Earth. But when summer comes, the daytime temperature stays close to the freezing point of water. A great place to take summer vacation if you're a snowman. Another cyclone is reported in Amazonas Planitia. This storm, made of dust from Mars' surface, is as high as a mountain and makes me wish I'd stayed home today. It's the month of May, so it's no big... Mars Ho! Does anyone know how a cyclone on Mars would compare to a cyclone on Earth? I'm not sure I want to know. Here's what you get when you mix dust with super fast winds. Does anyone know what place? The surface of Mars is red because all the iron in the soil here has rusted. If this red rock could talk, it would tell us a lot about the history of this place. If that rock starts talking, I'm heading for cover. Does anyone know how a cyclone on Mars? Does anyone the surface of Mars? Does anyone know? Does anyone know what place on Earth most resembles Mars? I'll give you a hint. It's as far south as you can go. The South Pole? You got it, Arnold. Mars is kind of like Antarctica without the water. A spunky little rover just like this one was used by the Pathfinder mission to explore Mars. It was called Sojourner, which means traveler. Isn't Mars fantastic? Like I always say, it's out of this world to be out of this world. Scientists have to use an electronic thermometer on Mars because the mercury inside a regular thermometer would freeze. And who wants to take their temperature with an icicle? Mars is farther away from the sun than the Earth is and gets a lot less light and heat. That's why it's so cold here. According to my research, the average temperature is 53 degrees below freezing. Mars takes a long time to circle the sun, so the seasons here are almost twice as long as they are on Earth. Just think! Long summer vacations! The school year would be longer too, Arnold. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Scientists have to use an electronic... Right now it may be cloudy and cold on Mars, but in just a few days we could be in the middle of a giant dust storm. The weather around here is a real roller coaster ride. I'd like to be the first person to climb Olympus Mons. Wanda, Mount Olympus is three times higher than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. I'm not worried. There's less gravity here to pull me down, so climbing should be easier. Someday, people might actually live on Mars. If we found a way to make the atmosphere thicker and warmer, then the ice caps would melt and there could be water. This way of changing a planet is called terraforming. Wanda, that could take thousands of years. That's a good reason to start trying to figure it out now. Right now it may be cloudy and... Red dust doesn't only color the ground on Mars, it turns these clouds pink too. All of the giant volcanoes here are extinct, but it was a very different story in the past. Let's just hope the past doesn't decide to repeat itself, especially while I'm here. Mars has two moons with Greek names. This big one is called Phobos, which means fear. The little one is known as Deimos, which means panic. If I had a Greek name, it would mean terrified. You'd think that moons would be round, but Deimos is shaped kind of like a potato. Mmm, I wonder what's for lunch today. According to my research, the Martian moons have craters. This giant one on Phobos is called the Stickney Crater. <laughs> 